You don't need to be writing well for me to unfold the mystery of God. Oh, somebody talk to me. You don't need to be reading well. You don't need to have the doctorate. So here, Paul is saying, be careful. in our own right bring it to the forefront of our philosophy I know I might not have some friend after I finish oh God hallelujah what I want some of us to understand is that how I look at it is that how Pastor Rose look at it is that how Pastor Tristan look at it is that how I look at it is that how Bishop look at it
people want to go outside of the church tonight. Because the church already know the standard that God set. So when we're not living according to the standard, we can't blame nobody. I am in church. You want to blame a few Hallelujah. Come on, church of God. Come on, church of God. So Paul is telling us. Look out, my brother. Look out, my sister. Because let me tell you something. Some little things pop in like, oh, I can't pass. Make it pass. God understands. No, God understands. Yes, He understands. He understands that it will happen before it happens. But God has given us a choice to rise before you. Oh God. If you choose to be in philosophy, where you think I am, church? Oh, God Almighty. Oh God Almighty, Church of God, if we choose to accept the vain philosophy, the little cunning speaking, oh come on, Church of God, we have to understand that Bob Marley said that word is power. Let's go. And I'm not only going to talk about Bob Marley, but the Bible talk about the power of the word. Not only of the word. But the power of the tongue. Yeah. 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 The Bible speaks about the power of the tongue. The things that we speak, by spoken them, we give them life. You know, talking to the church. Oh God, I when we speak them in the atmosphere, we give them life, church of God. Oh God. Oh Jesus. So when we start to talk, be careful what you talk. In your congregation. Talk to the church. Be careful what you talk about the less learned brethren. In the presence of the less learned brethren. Talk to me now, church. You want to have church? Let's first dedicate the church. I'm going to show you something. I want to cut it down, you know. I want to cut it down. In this life, the Bible speaks about the latter day spirits. And there's a particular scripture in Daniel that speaks about the knowledge that will increase. Come on, church. Come on, church. And because knowledge shall increase the love of God walks cold. Are you talking to the church of God? I want to talk to the church. And Paul in a lot of in a lot of statements said that we will be ever learning but we will never be able to come the knowledge if we are learning and can't come to the knowledge of the truth the Holy Ghost and our teacher come on church of God but when the Holy Ghost came it empowered us so that our knowledge increased not in the world but in God but in God in God because Jesus spoke to his disciples. He said that they should go be out into all the world, preach and teach and baptize man in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things. And lo, I am with you always, even to 
put a hand, but somebody said when Christ was crucified and he was about to ascend back to his father, he said, don't leave Jerusalem because I'm going away. And if I don't go, your comforter will not come. The Holy Ghost, the teacher, will not come. So he said, go and tarry until you be endured with power from an eye. The Bible says when the Holy Ghost came, He did not wait until tomorrow. Praise God, church. To give proper insight to Peter. I am in the church. He did not wait until next week. Oh God Almighty. To give proper knowledge to Peter. But the Bible says when the men and brethren came and they were talking, Peter said, We're not drunk. We are not drunk here. But my teacher come. My comforter come. Jesus has come back not in the form of a man. But in the form of a spirit. Knowing that, that the Holy Ghost in you is Jesus Christ, the hope of glory. Because I listen. Know this of a truth. Talking about when we believe. No, this our truth is not by what we cook up, so you can call philosophy. But this is that which was spoken a long time ago. Jesus. That he shall go down in the heart of the earth. You know, with me, church. For three days and three nights. Mystery 
mercy of God that it is found in the valley bodily. Oh Jesus, help me not somebody. Come on, church of God. So Peter said, repent. I want to talk to you, somebody. He said, repent. Because you have some sins that need to be washed. Wash and wash away my sins. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Wash and make me whole again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. It's a blood that makes me white. It's the Bible says when the word came, it comes with power. It came with clarity. Nobody will ask no more question, more than one question. Eh? Atmosphere clear. Men and brethren, what shall we do to be saved? Repent, every one of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin. And you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. What will thou do when thou art spoken? Take your time with me, Salish. I'm coming down. The enemy of the church thought that the church was over. Because they were being slain and they were scattered in a valley. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to the enemy, the church was over. The Bible says are classified the bones as being very dry. Oh, we dry, Pastor. Oh, Jesus. But there is hope. There is hope. There is hope for redemption. So the Bible said, God called to the man of God. And he showed him, carry him out into the spirit. And he showed him a body.
Did you know what's a valley? A valley is not like the church you have in here. A valley is wide and deep. Oh God. And, and I can imagine that might be in between. In between the bones, there were tissues, there were things that could end the bone from coming back to its right place. Oh God. You're not understanding this message, church. I hope you're getting this message. Because sometimes there is a coming back that is in process. But there are some obstacles that stand in the way for bone to come back to bone. But I pray you bend the Father. Because I don't want to be any hindrance. I don't want to be no barrier of the coming back of the bones. Oh glory. Oh bless the name of Jesus. Because if we stand in the coming back of the bone. Jesus. I think I'm going to read something. Man. But so you can get, you kind of get excited when the spirit of God comes upon you. But there, there are some words that I put together with some scriptures. And I'm going to spend a little time and read them to you. And then if I, if I feel like preaching again, I preach again. Oh, glory. Mama, I'm sorry. Mama, I'm sorry. Jesus. But the blood of Jesus. Glory. But church of God, God had made us a foundation. No other foundation. No other foundation can any man lay than that which is already laid. You think you can lay down nothing? Try it now. Come on, church of God. The Bible said, if an angel come from heaven, Almighty God, and preach another gospel, let that angel be a curse. You know what I'm trying to get covered now? If you had to that which is written in this book. You are what? Place to your life. If you take anything out of this book, you take your name out of the last book of life. Oh God, Satan, you think you're him? Oh God Almighty. Let me read from Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the hand. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things be to the Lord and our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever. And we may do all the words of the law. Are you with the church of God? Romans 1 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. We are talking about philosophy and they deceived. 1 Timothy 6 20. 
to 21. Timothy, God that God what was committed to your trust, avoid the profane and idle babbling and come idle babbling and come sorry.
Philosophy has a question to ask. Then if God exists, could God exist in this world of wickedness? This is a question from philosophy. Because they are trying to tell us that there is no existence in God. There is a certain philosophy that, in my words, I'm dumb and they are right, but I think he contradicts himself. Because he said that in philosophy, questions are more important than answers. Oh, God Almighty. Because if every answer is given for a question, comes another question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Church of God. So these are people that we need to be careful of. Questions, or could question be more important than answer when questioning is asked to be answered? But when you go back to the Bible, every question you ask is answered. Somebody said, line upon line. Precepts upon precepts. Here I lick up. Dear I lick up. Genesis to Revelation. What's philosophy come with is being discarded when it value to be nothing good. Do you get that church? But anything is written in the book, try to discard it now. Because before one jot, I want one. And you don't want them to in the valley. Oh, Jesus. I said, I think some of them are jump like when they are playing scratch. Because they are just waiting for the next one to come and join. Are you with the church of God? Hallelujah! I'm going to tell you something, Lord. And after I say this, I might just come down. Church, if you find out that the bones from your church one get connected to the bones at my church don't hold them because if you hold them they want to offense oh Jesus say no hold them let them go let Oh. 
philosopher. Putin on the front philosopher. If you didn't want to hear, you shouldn't call me. But if, let me repeat it again. If any way or form, I oppose the move of God. I am a philosopher putting on the forefront philosophy. Because if I teach or endorse something different from what the word of God stands for, it is called philosophy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. small as a mustard seed, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. Oh, Jesus. From heaven, he came on his altar to be his own bride. And with his own blood, he bought her and for her life he died. Elect from every nation yet one. The center shall not depart. We are talking about gathering now. The center shall not depart from Judah. Now a law giver from beneath his feet until Shiloh come and unto Shiloh shall be the gathering shall be the gathering of God's people oh glory oh glory We can't get a dog We can't get a over yonder. Somebody said in the city. 
you know what I'm here with church. I tell you, take it come with me, but you're not coming with me. In the city where the Lamb is a light. Oh Jesus, come into the church. In the city where the Lamb is a light. We walk with two up and we shoes back and gone. Yeah, church. But we need to keep the faith because John said he saw a new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven as a bride.
go marching. Ask yourself the question tonight. If tomorrow should be the marching in of that number, will we be qualified to be in that number? Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain. May the peace of God church. May the peace of God I'm not pronouncing the benediction but may the peace of God rest remain tonight and abide with us. Let the words of our minds and the meditation of our God be accepted in that sight. My final word this is my final words. Solomon, he said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. God bless you.